guys, it's Katie and welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Firstly, I'm going to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season with all of your loved ones. Personally, I just finished up Christmas breakfast and it was delicious. Trying to make room for lunch, which we're having a little bit later on today. So I thought I had a little bit of time to kill in between and why not show you guys what I was lucky enough to receive for Christmas. You guys know me by now, this is in no way me bragging, that is so not my style, but I just honestly enjoy watching these videos and thought a lot of you probably do too, so let's just jump into it. Since we all know that I am pretty much fashion obsessed, I thought I'd just start off with the few clothing items that I received. The first one being this oversized striped shirt, and this is going to be perfect for summertime in here. You can button it up or just wear it undone with like a nice little white dress. I'm so excited to style this. Definitely expect to see it in some videos. I also received this basic little crop top in a really nice black rib material. This is the sort of thing I can wear with literally anything. And the other clothing item I got was this black denim skirt. It has some rips and some fraying at the bottom. This again is something I will get a ton of wear out of. So now transitioning into pajamas. This is one of my favorite things to receive for Christmas. I think it's such a good gift idea. I was lucky enough to get this silky robe from Cotton On Body. This is such an adorable print. I have just a plain pink one at the moment that I've been loving, so I'm excited to have another one in my collection. I also got a pair of pajamas from Peter Alexander, and I'm not sure if they're worldwide or not, but here in Australia, they are the most popular place to get PJs. This is absolutely adorable when I unwrapped this. I couldn't believe how cute it was. It is a NYC taxi little clutch bag that it comes in. And then the pajamas are also NYC based, which if you guys didn't know, that's like the one city I really, really want to visit one day. So I think these are just the best gift for me. Next up, I received two bags and I was so excited about this because for some reason I buy so many clothes, so many shoes, but I never end up buying bags. And I absolutely love both of these. This one is an adorable little white backpack. And this gray one can actually be worn as a backpack or a little crossbody bag as well. Pretty sure a lot of you are total makeup addicts out there and I love myself some makeup every now and then as well. My nan absolutely spoiled me with these goodies. First up is the Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Triangle Foundation Brush. I've never tried a brush like this before so I'm so keen to see how it goes. She also got me these, these are just adorable. They're so, so tiny in their little packaging, these little beauty blenders. These are the micro mini, so I think they'll be really good for under the eye for concealer. The other two makeup products were from Mecca, and I am so excited. I've been looking at both of them for the longest time. The first one is one of the NARS multiples, and the other is one of the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, but this is in their metal range, so it's kind of like a metallic sheen to it, which is really cool. So I wouldn't exactly consider myself a very organized person in life in general. I can get very, very messy at times, most of the time if you ask my mom but when it comes to videos I love to have everything planned and ready to go so I'm super excited to have one of the Kiki K diaries this one is where you have a page to an entire day which I think is really handy because you can even find room to kind of fit a to-do list or something like that which is awesome and how amazing is this color honestly also to keep me on track I have one of these monthly planners which I think will be Awesome just to write key dates and stuff down as well. Speaking of videos and YouTube, these gifts will probably definitely be the most used. I got a spare battery, which I was in desperate need of, and also an extra SD card, which always come in handy. Another super practical gift that has to do with my camera and YouTube is this bag. And it's not necessarily a camera bag, but it is great for when I'm traveling because I'll be able to put all of my cords, all of my lenses and everything in one place. Another super exciting tech gift, I suppose, is this Polaroid camera. It is one of the Fujifilm ones, but this one is actually the Instax wide rather than the mini, which I'm pumped about. I think that it'll just get that much extra in the shot. And I think that I can do some really cool things with editing even for my YouTube videos. So I'm really, really excited to 
crack this out, I think that I'll probably get into it straight after this video. And to go along with that present, they got me this amazing canvas, which has the cute little pegs and string, and they just thought it would be a good idea for me to hang up all of the Polaroid pictures I take, and something that would even look really cool in the background of some of my videos. You guys know that I'm always changing up the background. I don't know, I just like to keep things interesting. So my mum actually got me a few really, really cool home decor items. The first two I'm going to show you, she actually made herself and I think they are incredible. You guys are going to love these. They are just like wall hangings and these honestly look like something you would buy for like 70 bucks from Urban Outfitters, but she's so creative, she made them herself and I am obsessed. There's just a few other decor pieces as well. The first one being this vase. And I was actually at the shops with mum when I first spotted it and said how much I liked it. So she must have gone back and got it for me. The other thing she picked up is something else that will look great in the background of videos. It's just this wooden tree, which is really simple, but I think it still looks pretty funky. This is such a beautiful gift from my auntie and it is a pot of dreams. And pretty much it is like a money box where you save for whatever your dream is. And she thought it would be a great idea to help me save for New York because like I already mentioned, I am determined that I will get to New York City, hopefully in 2016. Lastly, I have two DVD box sets, which I am so, so excited about. The first one is the Powerpuff Girls, and let me know if any of you guys grew up watching them, because this is probably one of my all-time favorites when I was a kid. This and Sailor Moon were my two ride or dies, so I'm so excited to have all six seasons here to rewatch. The other one is a classic indeed. It is all 10 seasons of Friends. I've seen so many of the episodes time and time again, but it seriously never gets old. So I'm excited to throw this on tonight once we're done with Christmas dinner and everything and just relax. So those are all the lovely gifts that I was lucky enough and very, very thankful to receive this year. I didn't individually mention who everything was from. I didn't think it was really necessary. They know that I love them and that I'm very, very thankful for everything that they gave me. But I would love to hear from you guys what you got for Christmas. So leave me a comment down below. I'd love to have a chat to you. I also just wanted to thank you for all your comments and support in general throughout the entire year. It means the world to me and I am excited for you to see all the new videos I have coming up in the new year. But if this is the first video you've seen of mine, then be sure to subscribe, join the party. I would love to have you on board and I'll see you guys next time.